Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie Vo and I'm a designer with craftshowprint.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make one of my designs. This is the design that we're going to be making. It's a Christmas rosette design from one of my sheets. A card maker has actually called this concept an architectural concept. So we're going to give it a go and I'll show you how to put it together. You're going to need a few things and the first thing you're going to need is the sheet itself. This is the sheet and it's cut number 360251 underscore 10. As you can see on the sheet you get the base image, you get the base image at frame for a layer 1, you get four gold circle flakes and two labels in this case ours says season's greetings you're going to cut all those elements out but first we need to look at what we need to make the card so that's the sheet i'll put that to one side we're going to need a quickie glue pen some 3d foam or silicone glue whatever you're happy with some foam um, sorry some foil because we're going to foil the edges scissors bone folder, embellishments and ribbon and I've used a five and a half inch square card that I'm going to fold and use as my base card like so. I'm going to put this to one side because we're going to cut all the elements out and after you have cut all the elements out if you remove the white of the sheet this is what you'd be left with. So you cut everything out like so. And to start with, we're going to gold foil the edge of the design and the frame. And to do this, I simply use my quickie glue pen and I run it around the edge of the design like so. You don't have to be precise with it because the design is very forgiving. Once the quickie glue pen turns clear in colour, then you know it's time to add your foil. So I shall turn that that way and I'm hoping in the light we might have turned colour. Yep, like so. And we simply press the file onto it and pull it away and it just gives the design a little bit of an edge really it just makes it a little bit more um, unique shall we say so we would do that all the way around and we would also do that on the frame and on one of the labels so we'll pretend that I've shown you how to do all of it and I'll move that to one side because I have prepared one in true cup style so I've prepared the base for my card like that as you can see it's got the foiling already just around the edge we don't need it everywhere because we're only really going to pick up the base of the design on this now I'm going to use a flat glue runner to attach my base design like so and I'm going to place that in the middle like so roughly and then the next layer are the snowflake layers. These will just position over the top of the image on the base, like so. Now what you can do if you've got more time, you can use an ink pad and just take it around the edge of the card just to turn it in or a felt tip or a watercolour 
just to take the whiteness away from the edge. So there we've put the four snowflakes on. Now the next layer is the frame and what I've done is I've cut, the, cut it out and as you can see from the edge I've foiled it. Now underneath the frame I've added my foam, uh, 3D foam, but I've added two different sizes because I wanted my frame to be slightly higher than the snowflakes. The snowflakes have got the small square on the back so I know that they're all the same height of the card. So for the frame I wanted it just that little bit higher again to give it a 3D feeling. So what we do is place the frame now of the frame on the card like so, marry it up Hopefully that's roughly about right. So you can see that it's got a little bit of depth between the layers. Then we've added the two labels, one on top of each other, using 3D foam again. And then this will go in the centre of our design over the label that's on the base image, like so. Okay, so lastly, the last thing we've done is we've made a bow and we've added an embellishment in the middle of it. I'm just going to trim the tails of the bow and then using a wet glue, I'm going to decide where I want to put the bow. And I think it'll be nice just at the top there. I use a good strong wet glue because obviously the embellishment in the middle of the ribbon is quite heavy. So there we have the finished design. I'll hold it against the one we started with. So I hope you've liked this episode of Cup TV and thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.